If you're like me, when you first heard the term Krautrock, you thought, why is there a music genre named after sauerkraut, and possibly also an ethnic slur? Also, who are these wild hippie guys, and what are they doing with these enormous room-sized instruments? It turns out Krautrock was just a ton-in-cheek way of describing rock music from Germany during the 1970s, coined by the British music press at the time. Still, these bands all shared a similar enough mentality about music and instrumentation that a cohesive genre emerged, one that turned out to be hugely influential to indie rock, ambient, and EDM music today. I ended up becoming a pretty fast fan of the genre and picked out these five songs to help any newcomer get started. Please note that this list is totally arbitrary and based solely on my own personal taste. If there's a band you think I missed, just say so in the comments. Number 1, Krautrock by Faust. This 1973 song by Faust, aptly named Krautrock, is a great representation of the genre. It's repetitive, hypnotic, yet full of detail below the surface. The track was likely named sarcastically, as Faust was critical of the term Krautrock as a musical label. Nevertheless, this track has become legendary, both in its own right and as a representation of 70s German psychedelic music, or whatever you prefer to call it. Number 2, Hollywood by Cluster. One of the first things you'll notice as you explore Krautrock is that for the first time ever, there's fully electronic bands, both composing and performing live with synth and drum machines. Cluster's 1974 track Hollywood is an incredible example. You can clearly hear the beginnings of electronica, and a sound that would later be borrowed by Aphex Twin, Tycho, Boards of Canada, and many others. Number 3, Rucksack by Kraftwerk. Speaking of bands that composed entirely on synthesizers, Kraftwerk is probably one of the best known kraut rock bands in the English speaking world, having charted as high as number 5 on the US album charts. But before they were all electronic, they used a variety of live instruments like flute, organ, bass guitar, and drums to create fascinating, pulsating soundscapes, one of which being Rucksack off their 1970 debut. However, if you prefer their all-electronic sound, I also recommend Tour de France off their 1984 album of the same name. Number 4, Oh Yeah by Cairn. As one of the more melodic and expressive krautrock bands, Cairn's music can sometimes seem like a pop song, but one you're hearing from within a dream. It's super haunting and hypnotic and incredibly compelling. The song Oh Yeah off their 1971 double album Tego Mego is one of the best examples of this. It also sounds exactly like something Radiohead might have tried writing during their Kid A phase. Number 5, Hollow Gallo by Noi. One of the best known and most common entry points into the krautrock genre is Noi's 1972 song Hollow Gallo. It has the driving beat, the repetition, the hypnotic swelling guitars, and the strange bliss of technological optimism, or doom maybe, that came to define so much of this genre. Hollow Gallo is also one of the all-time best songs to listen to while driving, guaranteed. So that does it with this list of five Krautrock songs to help you get started. Again, this is based solely on my own opinion and my own personal bias. If you think there's a song or band that I missed, just say so in the comments. Thank you.